<laughs> anyway, you're listening to Alice James and John Robbins on Radio X. And now it's time for the tensest feature in world radio. It's Winner Plays On. <laughs> Right. Every week, John and I, we compete uh, over five questions on our chosen specialist topics. The winner gets to play the track of their choice. Um, and uh, I'm answering questions on Boris Becker this week. Uh, what are you answering questions on, John? Brian May. Brian May, good grief. XFM. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. So, so I need to get five on May or I will kill myself and everyone close to me. Right, OK. <laughs> you better not have put any hard ones in there. I don't think one. I have. But I, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> this is tense. I'm, I'm, sh- do we have to do this? Can we just play John's track? <laughs> okay, five questions on Brian May, starting now. How tall... Shut up! up. How tall is he? Yeah. A week one? <laughs> but you cannot ask that question now. <laughs> that's, that's How t- He's not a boxer. That's he's a guitarist. <laughs> but he's lanky, isn't he? So that's not know. a week one. I'm not accepting that question. <laughs> you got to. You go. Set the. Qu- By the way, is this in like centimeters? Feet an inch. It's not okay. centimeters. I'm not an animal. <laughs> Honest. That's I your need, first I question on Brian him, May. But I. Thought... I didn't measure him. <laughs> you stood next to him. <laughs> yeah, but I... that is an inappropriate week. One. You're joking, aren't you? No, I'm not joking. Ask. Okay. No, um, no, no. That's the question. You got to answer. I it. think that's fine. I think that's fine because he's tall. I I looked at all of the queen heights. I'm going to say he is uh, six foot two. I'll give you that. Six foot one and a half. So I'll give you that. I'm rounding it up. Where was May born? Um, And that is a fine question. There's nothing wrong with that. Where was he born? I mean, some questions about his career might be nice. About his height and... Oh, I I think that's a fair question. question. Where was he born? That's right. Uh, London. Well, he was born in Hampton in Middlesex. Uh, well, okay. Yeah. When was May awarded his oh PhD in astrophysics from Imperial College London? I knew this. I knew this. You knew when? Yeah, because it was recent. Because I thought he'd done it in the 70s and it wasn't. It was a big news story. Because it took him years to hand it in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> 2008. It's 2007. <laughs> Stop it then. Stop it. I don't want this to carry on. Yeah. I think... <laughs> I think you've made a massive mid- misjudgment. I think it's... <laughs> you've not had a single question about Queen or his career. Well... You're an idiot. The last one was... It is on Brian May himself, is which amp is May most famous for you? Fox AC30. OK, so that's another one you've got right. And let's not... Let's, I, think, I, think, I think we should award Height. John. You absolute idiot. He's your idol. I know all of my idol's heights. Yeah, well, I knew his height... Good, Roughly. so the question was fine. Yeah. You were half an inch out. Oh, God. Can we play... I don't even care about Boris Becker. I don't want to answer questions on Boris Becker. Well, you're going to have to me. now, aren't you? No, because you didn't win. I didn't win. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I've we haven't resigned. Even, I haven't even, you haven't resigned. I haven't, even asked, I haven't even asked you the question. I've resigned in protest. I'm not... Are we, is that all five questions on me? No, it's not. Oh, let's do the fifth John one. Resi- no, because it's no, too God. weird. <laughs> it's God. too weird. I think we should play a track. Come on, what's the fifth question for me? <sighs> In 1956... Oh, you are. <laughs> off your... Joking, I'm joking! Great joke, everyone's laughing at the great joke. <laughs> Brian May's a vegan, true or false? False. Yeah, he's... What is he? Vegetarian. He's a vegetarian, that's fine. You did all right. What did I actually get? Three. A, you, well, what? Which two did he get wrong? Where was he born? Oh, yeah, his PhD. <laughs> By one year. All right, I'll give it to you then. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't want it. I don't think Brian May would want it. <laughs> Can I throw a mug at something, Dave? No, no, Please, no. Christmas tree. No. The window. This is Alice's song for winning. When it plays Oh God. Can I swear now? No. She says Radio X. Alice James and John Robbins. End of a century there by Blur. You listen to Alice James uh, on Radio X. John's walked out. It's got, got a bit tense there doing that. Um, I didn't walk out. No, but you did swear a lot. and Yeah. With your head in your hands. That's all right. <laughs> That's fine. I, I'm i perfectly happy for you to do Brian May next week. No. Well, okay. I mean, you know, I I, I think as a, as, a, as a gesture of goodwill... In the new year, 2016, let's consider it um, an error of judgment. And on we'll... whose part? Well, on my part. Yes. 
Do you want to do Bromay next week? No. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I know. Why don't we give it a couple of months and then you can come back to Bromay? No. That sound? All right. You can't. Do you want to do... OK, Roger Taylor. No! The, the dweeby bassist. <laughs> don't. Oh. The dignified bassist, please. Right, OK. <laughs> Do you want to do the dignified basis? No, I don't want to do the dignified basis. <laughs> I want to leave him in his own... in peace, as he is asked to be left in. The yes. Daily Mail. Right, fair enough. OK. So... read an article about him on the way. They were photographing him saying, this man's worth uh, £85 oh. million, pounds, and yet he walks down the street wearing a grey trousers oh, and looks it? like a normal person. That's because he wants to be a normal person, the Daily Mail. Yeah, leave him not, alone. Is it? Anyway. Um... <laughs> So, if if you're not going to do the bassist or Roger Taylor, have you got a topic for next week? Um, I will... Usually we discuss this through the track, but John, um, I mean, the conversation took a slightly <laughs> <laughs> unplanned turn. I will do the history of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> or the planet, I don't know. The planet Earth. I don't know. Planet Earth. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> what have I, have I done? Um, have I done nothing? The concept of nothing. The concept. What the philosophical concept of nothing? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Right. Okay. Um, well, I'll. What's your topic? Nothing. You're not doing nothing. What's your actual topic? Do the philosophical concept of nothing. <laughs> no. Um, Should we play a track whilst you What? Fred. what? <laughs> Fred. Fred. <laughs> No, I'll do Pret. Oh, God, we are broadcasting, John. Do you want to sort yeah. of perk up a bit? Let's have a think and come back to yeah, it, shall we? Think. Okay. <laughs> hey. Radio X. Ellis James and John Robbins. True Faith by New Order. You listen to Ellis James and John Robbins on Radio X. Now, John, you've had a bit of time to think. Have you got a, have you got a topic for next week? Yes, I'm going to do a post-rock uh, anti-capitalist band Godspeed You Black Emperor. Lovely stuff. From the sublime to Godspeed You Black Emperor. That's pretty sweet. That's that good. I I'll, I'll look forward to um, asking you questions on Godspeed You Black Emperor. And just for you, I'm absolutely not going to revise Boris Becker because I wish I hadn't revised him today. Good. Anyway, uh, we had a clear out in our house in December um, and I found, I don't know if you did this, I found a lot of diaries I used to keep um, from when I started out doing stand-up. So when you start out as a stand-up, uh, you don't do a huge amount of gigs, you don't gig very, very often, so they all mean an awful lot, and they all feel very, very significant. So I used to write quite long diary entries um, after each show to see what I could learn, the things I would do different. Did you do that? No, I left that to the press. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've... <laughs> January 27th, smashed it. Next. <laughs> five out of five, ten stars. Anyway... What no uh, one saw then is that, as John said, I left that to the press. He winked at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. As if to say, am I right, Dave? Good oh, oh, which year did Boris Becker do his mock GCSEs? Week one. <laughs> Get over it, mate. Unbelievable. What a waste. What absolute Come waste. On, it's 2016. Three it's a new weeks year. of content. It's a new year. It's a new you. No, it's not. It's me with less iPhone games. I mean, I'll be more ratty. Right. Oh, oh, that's what it is. You've gone cold turkey. That's what it is. If you had an iPhone game to sort of... For sweet, sweet sake. Week four, PhD. The year he finished its PhD. But it was Week a, four. It was a this big, is John Deacon's A-level results it was all a, over it again. It was a big news story. It was not! Well, how come I knew then? And I'm not even a fan of Queen. I think You there, didn't know that. Yes, I did. Rubbish. Well, I thought it was 2008, actually, so I well, checked so in 2007. Well, so did I. Anyway. God! Lighten up, man. Right. Ellis is reading out his gig diaries. Ellis, James and John Robbins podcast. X FM. Basically, listeners, we... I was expecting to come into the office today and for us to have a big bumper pack of Christmas cards and due to either a mix-up in where our post is kept or a lack of Christmas cards, <laughs> we received none. And I was in a really kind of selfish prima donna like way a little bit sad yeah and well, that's before i got your brian may questions wrong Go too all right <laughs> <laughs> so never ever talk about that again okay good so please, what's next please play a track before no oh we playing a track okay this uh hey we'll speak to you next week folks X. ellis james and john robbins radio x you had a clear out of the flat
Yes, that's true. Um, so stay tuned because that's spawned a new feature, which uh, was a lot of fun this on this week's show. So there'll be more of those coming in uh, weeks to come. Not an entirely fun show. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, any long-time podcast listener who remembers Farthingate from about 18 months ago, uh, if you enjoyed Farthingate, you're in for a treat. If you found Farthingate tense, uncomfortable listening, turn off now. <laughs> Uh, because it's not worth it's just not worth yeah, it just don't listen to any of the don't podcasts. listen to any of the podcast because good grief what's fr- most frustrating is that with winner plays on now we have to really rack our brains for topics and i'd finally found one that i thought could run for weeks and be good fun and ellis just drove a tractor of well, inappropriateity I, I don't, through that hope. I don't know, because the tweets we got in uh, during the live show are all 100% back to me. So Well, OK, so, so two be, tweets back it'd be, to in, it'd be interesting. <laughs> it'd be interesting to know, uh, maybe, if you'd like to... If, you, if you'd like to li- listen to the podcast and then email whether you think that my questions were fair or not, uh, email us on saturday at radiox.co.uk. Let's not give any more away. Because I personally think that it was all right. You've lost your mind. <laughs> Read back those questions and and keep saying to yourself, bear in mind, Ellis, this is week one. Bear in mind, Ellis, this is week one. Bear yeah. in mind, Ellis, this is week bear one. Bear in mind that you've defined yourself by how much you love this person. Oh, like, it right, doesn't don't matter. Give so much away. <laughs> Cause it's well, give Ellis away if you're not careful. <laughs> Get someone else in. Should we try one of the basic appreciation of appropriate question level for week one? Now we'll... we do advertise that in the, the media section of the Guardian. Come on, we're not making the media section of the Guardian. Front no. page of Chortle, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the Croydon advertiser. Um, Still, you know, Christmas was fun. <laughs> was it, Ellis? <laughs> Was it? Good. I, in- I introduced my dad to avocado for the first time. I thought you did that in the eighties. No, oh, no, that no, was no. Mango. Yeah, and that was about five or six years ago. No, we had. A- I made him avocado and toast. And oh, lovely. He, um, he went, oh, oh. and uh, he went. It looks like an interesting consistency. And then I gave it to him, and he, and he, he looked sad whilst eating it, and kept saying it's an acquired taste. But he did clear his plate. What's the? Yeah, but that would be part of his sort of philosophy of life absolutely yeah what um how did you season the avocado salt and pepper mm-hmm. um yeah so i i thought it was i a- got a bit of lime juice and a bit of tabasco mate uh certainly not tabasco the lime juice would have been a good shout actually but i don't think it was any in the house because mm. uh, my mum doesn't drink chinzano <laughs> <laughs> but she does have scurvy <laughs> yeah yeah she's like an english pirate um it's like know, a welsh in the pirate 17th century yeah well lime is isn't it yeah you know, but uh, oh. I'm sure pirates from the 16th century came from all parts. Of well, they did. Uh, in fact, if anything, um, um, the Welsh, specifically Southwest Walians, led the way. Blackbeard was Welsh. Barty the was he? Um, all the top pirates. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could do that on Winner Plays On. I could do top Welsh pirates. Oh, yeah. question one: How many b- hairs were in Bluebeard's beard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do top pirates. R- remember that, Dave. Top oh. pirates. Um, Vic <laughs> Reeves did the golden age of piracy for his celebrity masterminds. So many of them were Welsh. It's absolutely from like the fish go- fish guard sort of Pembrokeshire area. It's absolutely extraordinary. Is it extraordinary? Yeah. Is it? I think so. God, lighten that mage. <laughs> Is it extraordinary? <laughs> well, it's a very How small part. How many pirates were well? It's a very small part. Is of- it extraordinary or is it just a fact? <sighs> it's a very small part of a small country and a lot of the top pirates in the 16th and 17th century <laughs> were well. phrase pirate. top pirates. <laughs> most successful pirates are booty. The most successful pirates. pirates. How yes. are you... What's the criteria? Yeah, in terms where are the stats on that? and loot. How many doubloons they've got? Right, <laughs> Okay. Are you I mean, Googling most successful yes, pirates? Yes, uh, You know, you, you, you carry on because I want to I wanna, I wanna sort of... In other news, folks, um, I've now got an Instagram page where I post pictures of the pubs I go to and one pint from each. Hello. No, actually, I'm, t- I'm talking now. <laughs> and uh, you this can go to so great. Instagram.com forward slash nomadic underscore reverie to keep track of all those great pubs and pints. Bartholomew Roberts, 17th of May, 1682 to the 10th of February, 1722, was born John Roberts, a Welsh pirate who raided ships off the Americas and West Africa between 1719 and 1722. 
he was the most successful pirate of the golden age of piracy <laughs> as, measure, as measured by vessels captured, taking over 470 prizes in his career. 470? Wow. He is also that known is as Black Bart, or in Welsh, Barty Lee, how I knew him, I was taught about him at school. This name was never used in his lifetime and also risks confusion with Black Bart of the American West. Uh, he was born uh, in Casnewydd Bach between Fishguard and Hanford West. Um, and, hang on. I'm, uh, we don't need the whole Wikipedia page. No, no, but, but there is then. something amazing. Let me, I just need to check. Ellis is available for after dinner speaking <laughs> if you want everyone in your company to die of boredom. I think that's interesting, personally. You know, but that's... If your company's had a bad year and you want to stick a rocket up the arse of your HR team... Get Ellis to speak at the after dinner about the, the top pirate. Try, try not to destroy my... I mean, I would use burgeoning when it's not after dinner speech sort of <laughs> career. Sort of stalled into the Have you ever done after dinner speaking in Welsh? Uh, no, I haven't, actually. There's got to be a call for that. Yes, you're right. I should look into that. Thank you, John. No worries, mate. <laughs> Anyway, I think we should... Well, also, we've got to announce a new special initiative at the end of the podcast, and you'll get a taster of uh, a chosen track. Uh, Bartholo- Bartholomew oh, Roberts crying he used to drink tea rather than rum. Um, oh, he sounds like a great laugh. In 1997, one <laughs> no author... No wonder he stole so many ships. Everyone else was having a decent time. In 1997, one author wrote that Bartholomew Roberts was a woman transvestite. It was argued that Roberts' corpse was thrown overboard to conceal this fact... Or because this, there's no one else to bury him. This is exciting. Oh, it's quite exciting, actually. Stuff. I mean, I think he used to run. He used to run chapel services on his ship and make his other fellow his fellow pirates um, sort of pray and stuff. I'm sure I remember that. I'm sure I've read that somewhere. But anyway, he's just another one of the great, interesting Welsh pirates from the golden age of piracy. Thank you. God, am I dead? No, you're not dead. Have I died? You're just doing a podcast into in a bad mood. It's like so that. It feels like you've died. It's like Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, John and I, we're going to shake hands now to prove that there's no hard feelings. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I saw I saw a programme about Frankie Hammond yesterday. So, <laughs> Did you? Yeah, so sort of changed my attitude towards innuendo. But hopefully that's going to be temporary. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the podcast. Uh, we'll be back with you next week. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ellis James and John Robbins. Radio.